Hey, check this out. I've gotten a ton of questions on what's my favorite way to cook redfish. And I'll start out by saying redfish is not my favorite fish of all times. I absolutely love redfish, but on the fish scale, I'm going to say redfish for me is down at the bottom. So I do a couple things. I use a couple different seasonings. Uh, sometimes I, I, um, sometimes I, um, uh, you know, like to change the flavor up a little bit because redfish is that fish to me that can go a couple different ways. Step over here and let me show you what I, the way I start out. So basically, what I have is the last um, redfish that Mike and I caught. Uh, we saved some fillets, and I wanted to save them because I rarely save redfish, so I can show everybody what my preferred method is. Now, one of the key things that I do to all my fish is I live, leave the rib cage on. I'm not so worried about the boneless um, fish. I'm more worried about getting all the meat I can get. So I have bones here, and I know that there are bones here. So what that does for me is that gives me a heads up and allows me to eat up all the fish. So here's my seasoning. I use just plain old sea salt. I use um, a grinder for lemon pepper pepper and then I have a special Cajun seasoning that I use. The Cajun season we use for crawfish, redfish, and tons of other different stuff. So and when we do crab boils. So this this Cajun seasoning works great on a ton of different things. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna season this fish up and I'm gonna show you how to do it in some of the key things. And here's one thing you want to remember. Fish has moisture all the way through. If you cook it too long it'll be real dry in the center. If you don't cook it long enough, remember when you put your fork in it, it's hard to pull apart. You want a fish that once you put your fork in, the flakes come off nice and easy and nice and smooth. That's perfectly cooked fish. If it's real shredded and real dry, then you kind of overcooked it and it can actually change the taste of the fish. So let's see if we can get this right. Another key aspect and I'm going to show you here in a second is you have to have a hot skillet. And that doesn't, I have an iron skillet and that's just what I prefer to cook in. I've had it for years. So it doesn't have to be an iron skillet. If it is, great. If it's not, just put it in a skillet anyway. So check this out. Here's where we're going to start. I'm going to start with my Cajun seasoning. I'm going to show you a little secret that I do that um, it's not really a secret. You should do it anyway. So basically what I do is I put just a touch of olive oil just right on top of the fish. And that helps the seasoning to stick to it. Um, you don't want your seasoning to fall off in your pan. So I'll rub that on. I'll flip my fish over. Rub it on there real nice. This is a little bit of the skin. It should have been a fillet a little bit better, but we'll take it as it comes. Flip, flip, oil, oil, pow. It does not matter what kind of oil you use. You can use butter, you can use olive oil, corn, whatever. We don't care. So, now I've got that on there. I'm going to start the first one with the Cajun seasoning. I'm going to put a little bit in my hand here. I'm going to put just a liberal amount on there because we're going to blacken it up. This is going to be the blacken. The real, real good stuff in my book if you like Cajun black and redfish. So we got that on there. What my hands here. The next one's just gonna be sea salt and pepper. So basically I'm just gonna put a little bit of sea salt, some fresh ground pepper. This is absolutely one of my favorite ways. Now I do my trout this way. Uh, <laughs> the methods that I'm showing you right now it's pretty much how I do most of my fish. Let me flip that over. Let's catch the other side. Well, there. Now, I'm going to do the other two, which is my absolute favorite. It's just flat out lemon pepper. This is a lemon pepper and sea salt grinder here. And that's absolutely one of my favorite ways. Regular old sea salt on the whole thing. 
and a little bit of fresh ground pepper. Voila. <clears throat> so another key thing about this is like I said, the oil does a couple things. It keeps your fish from sticking to the pan and it holds your spices to it. Um, like I said, you can use any kind of oil you want. Olive oil, which is what I use predominantly most of the time. You can use corn oil, sesame oil, it doesn't matter. Just put a little bit on it. You can use, even use butter if you're not watching calories. So my pan is just about, I think, I see a little bit of smoke coming off the top. Let me just put a little, okay, right there. So the key to this, to, to good redfish, is to get that sear on there. What you're doing is you're searing up those juices just on the inside of that fish. Get that seasoning on there nice and... Oh man, smell that. That just smells delicious right off the bat. Only got enough room in there for one. That is ready on that side. We'll just flip it over. Remember, we don't have to have a lot here. What most people don't uh, don't remember is that even though you take it out of the pan, the heat is still cooking your meat. Doesn't matter if it's your steak, doesn't matter if it's fish, chicken, it still continues to cook. It's a lot slower, but it is still continuing to cook. So right now I've got that in there. Literally it was 45 seconds, of not even a minute on that side. And what you're going to know is there's a lot of smoke. I'm not turning my vent on because then that's all you'll hear is the vent. Recipes are merely like a formula. Nothing 100% on there. So I'll drop that right there. A little scrape. We're going to drop the next piece of fish in. Wham! Right there on the hot pan. It's just a base. So basically on a recipe, you're starting out with a base. You're always going to season to taste. That's the key. That's why I'm not saying add a teaspoon of this or a teaspoon of that. So it's just a matter of just doing it to taste. So we got the first piece of fish off over there. Cooking the second one now, and we'll just cook through. We'll just keep cooking until we're all done with these and you get to see how they are. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna give you a little test of what I mean. <clears throat> see how it's kind of flaking there. So basically what you want is just that, see how it comes off nice and flaky, nice and smooth. Delicious. With those, those three flavors, you really can't go wrong. Trust me when I tell you, it is absolutely phenomenal on any fish you do. So, enjoy. <laughs> 